Hey guys, it's Lily LPS here and today's video is super important because guess what? Guess what? It is my five year special because I've been on YouTube for officially five years now. So it is the 28th of July today and I created my channel on the 28th of July 2014. So I've been doing this for a long time. Five years. That's, that's weird to say. My video today is going to be baking. We're going to be baking a cake that looks somewhat like my mascot, so I've never used fondant for a cake before, so this will be interesting. I love banana cake, so that's what we're going to be making. So I've got all my ingredients here and we're going to just start making it. Oh, first we need to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and 160 Fahrenheit. So Okay, we are all sorted to start baking. So the first ingredient is butter and sugar. So, and we will need 125 grams. So I'm just gonna Google how much that is. In cups. So here we have a cup. So we're gonna fill half of that and going to use a fork because saving dishes I guess. Okay so our butter just got out of the microwave so I'm just going to give that a stir. Pour it in. Oh shoot. <laughs> Add that to the rubbish pile as well. So now I'm going to get a third of a cup, which is there. So put that in and mix it. What we're going to need is some eggs, and we need two eggs. Eggs. Get the next egg and cut it. Almost perfect. Give me that. The next ingredient is vanilla essence. So I'll get out the spoons, and it is one teaspoon. But I always like to add a bit more than that because vanilla tastes very good. <laughs> Carefully. We've got two here, so I usually mix them in a separate bowl, but I guess we could try and mix it in here so we don't use too many dishes. I do have brown bananas to use, but they're a bit too brown, so I'm just going to use these. The next banana. Don't people like monkeys? bananas upside down or something random. I have no idea. It's said to use two large bananas which is basically a cup so that is what we've got. And put this to the side. So what I do to like mix and like smush the bananas you just use push it with the fork and smush it. <laughs> I really do like baking because it's so much fun and it tastes good. <laughs> this is also like one of the first videos I've used with my microphone so tell me in the comments if the sound quality is better because I wanted to improve that but I haven't really used my microphone even though I've had it for months so yeah. Okay, here we have the next ingredient, which is baking powder. So, we're going to use one teaspoon of that. Two tablespoons of milk. So, I'm using almond milk because that is dairy-free. Um, it would be good to have the spoon the right way up. Um, 
One, two, okay. Just gonna mix that all in. A cup of flour, a cup, and oh, I just got it everywhere. And oh. I, it said it cut off, but I don't know how much it did. But I was just talking about cake, so I said comment down below <laughs> what your favorite cake is because I love all cakes and I can't choose because there's so many great flavors. Vanilla, chocolate, banana. That is why I'm making it because it's my favorite cake flavor. And the cinnamon, oh cinnamon. So many good flavors. Oh funfetti cake. That's got to be another favorite. Put baking paper on this thing. Then put this on top and get the hooky thingy and push it to the back. And then is it just me or is the cake mix always taste well? Like mix in general tastes better than the actual like thing itself. But this, I am sure it's going to taste amazing because I, how can you go wrong with bananas? The next thing we'll be making is chocolate icing so the fondant can stick onto the cake. So all we need to do is add water to it and then we are done. Oh, it went everywhere. <laughs> so now that I've added water, I'm just going to mix it all together. Next, we're going to spread all the icing sugar so we can make the fondant stuff. So just going to need the dough, the rolling pin, and roll it out so it's more thinner. So now we're going to get the yellow food coloring and put it into the dough and knead it around so the color goes into it. Make sure to sprinkle lots and lots of icing sugar on the surface so the fondant doesn't stick onto it. It tastes so good. So now I'm going to be doing the blue ones. I'm going to be doing the final one, which is the pink flower. Then I'll be all done for the flowers. I'll just be continuing to do what I've been doing. So I've been getting the first flower I did, which I was happy with, and tracing it with the knife onto the red. And I'm now going to shape the nose. So I'm just going to put it in a ball, flatten it, and then do it flat at the top so it'll look like that. And then use my fingers down here to make it look more like a nose. The next things I need to make out of fondant are the stripes and the eyes. Now I'm just going to be separating this into two equal sized balls for the eyes. So here we have the first one and second. So I'm just going to push those down. And so I'm just going to separate these two and overlay it on top. One of the final colors we'll need is black. Put lots of water on it. Then I'm just gonna stick it down and stick it down. One up there, one there. And now that we've done the eyes, we can put it with the flowers. I'm then gonna put it into a noodle shape and fold it again. And then do the same. And press them down. 
wrist down here, fold it upwards, and there we have the bottom stripes, and then there's stripes at the top as well, same thing, but for the top, and then put it into a noodle shape, and then press them down. So I have this bit here, and I'm going to just split it in half at the bottom, and then twist it out, and then press down, and thin it up at the top. And then we have our mouth. So I'm just going to split this into two, and then make something that resembles an ear. So I'm just going to put this into a ball, and this into a ball as well, and go like this. Similar to what we did with the nose, but like up angled. And then press down. Here I have my two ears and I'm just going to stick them at the top with toothpicks. At the bottom in the middle, I'm just going to stick this in. Stick this in. And here we have our two ears. So we just put icing on the cake and all we need to do is put the fondant on and then put all the other stuff like the eyes and the flowers. So let's get this party started. That looks good. Stuck down the main white collar and I stuck the ears in and now I'm just going to use some water to stick the flowers down. So about the ear looks good and once you've got water on it you can stick it down and we stick down this one too and stick that one down and that's all the flowers there I would say and then get some more water stick this one down like that and then put the dot here. Um, the eyes can probably go about there. I might need to move this a bit up. Or underneath. The nose looks good about there, so I can put the mouth on. And the lines under the eyes, the little stripes, and do the other side. And then put the stripes up the top. We are done! Here we have my finished cake and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It looks a lot like my mascot and it was very tricky but it was fun to make. And here it is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I really wanted to thank you guys for being around and sticking around my channel for these five years I've been on YouTube. And it's been so much fun and I've improved my videos so much and it's just... I, I couldn't be here without you guys. Without your support on my videos and like you guys continuing to want them and give me ideas, it really motivates me to continue making them because it's something I really do enjoy and I love sharing like my creations and things I enjoy as well on my channel so yeah, thank you guys so much and I hope you guys like this cake and it was enough to celebrate 5 years and yeah, hope you guys like this video, bye!